Yeah, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I won't like it? Well, because... I'm a stubborn six-year-old. <laughs> That's what she is. Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly! I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem! It did. Was it supposed to hit me? Seeing everyone around you doing great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. Oh, that's me. Yeah, I understand. Oh, I guess I get see her point. <laughs> she feels, uh, everyone else excelling and stuff, and she's trying. Alright, I'll, I'll see your point. But the other nice thing about civil writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. I've done that. It's fun. It drives the point home. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. Yeah, that's what I just said. So you did. I guess more weight into that than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro! I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect from the youngest one here, did ya? Yeah, I guess not. She's got cat teeth. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki's feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. There you go. At least I wasn't a dick there. I like the music! Whew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a lot more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre, mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the, the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. They're not going to like each other's poems. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. Oh no. They're gonna fight. What's with this language? Eh? Uh, did you say something? Ah! Uh, it's nothing! Natsuki, Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy! Uh, thanks. Yours is... cute. Cute?! Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up! How can that be cute? Uh, I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh! You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Ah! Uh, drama! Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all! Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. That doesn't quite make sense. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it, and Mid Papa did too. So based on all that, I'll gladly give you some of my suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Oh, damn, Natsuki! She just dropped you in spot! Which I haven't yet. <laughs> and Big Papa liked my poem, too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Oh, crap. Dra just dragged me into it. Uh... Natsuki really suddenly stands up. Oh! I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri! Oh, my God! No! Ah! Uh... Please, oh, I got trolled into playing this game. And this music is my brain right now. Eh, that's not what I... Uh, you're just... Here he stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Big Papa appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Huh? How do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Oh my god, this is awful! Are you that fool of yourself? I... No. If 
always full of myself. I would deliver you go off my own way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Oh shit! Ew! Oh, thank you. Sorry, or you just calm him down. Go get some cupcakes. Cupcakes, calm me down. Um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Big Papa started showing up. Oh my god! Ah, I'd be running the hell out of the room. No! Ah! Natsuki. Natsuki, that's a little. This doesn't involve. Oh shit! Simultaneously. This doesn't involve you. I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Giant eyes. This is me right now. Big Papa. She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this would have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out of the reader, not force him to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Big Papa. I'm out. Just slow. F Homer Simpson meme. Just back out. I was never here. Wait. There's a reason why I have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them, er, er. avoiding them is not only unnecessarily, lim unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Big Papa? Did you guys not read my trash poem? I have no comment! Let me leave! Ah! Um... Well! I'm out! I'm out! Let me leave! Click, 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 click! How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. Let me go! But whoever I argue with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Oh! Help me, Siori! Ah! Help me, Siori! I didn't even see the other ones. Mm. Shit. Ah! The whole fight was started by Natsuki just because you... Yeah, right! <laughs> Uh. Natsuki Natsuki glares at me trying up any words I had in my mouth so instead I turn to Yuri Yuri shit but Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her oh I made a mistake I should not have chosen Sayori I just roped someone else into the drama uh, I'm sorry Sayori I didn't think of it I, I would have chosen Yuri. Cause you're a little turd! You're so mean to everyone. But Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Say Yuri! <laughs> yeah! Everyone's fighting is making Say Yuri <laughs> That's fucked up! I just put it all on her! That's so not okay, don't do that. Don't do that to your friends. Everyone's fighting is making Say Yuri uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Dude, that's fucked up. Big Papa. Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. You're such a turd. I agree. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings into their own conflict. Then why'd you involve me? All right. You just said that and you involved me. No. No. Can't undo without saving. Ugh. Just say something to Natsuki. Yeah, I'm trying to. You're a little turd. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she's being. Oh, I really don't like you. She would never. It's your immaturity. She's made her upset in the first place. Fuck, I made it worse. Uh, excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why. Exactly why no one likes. Oh, I'm sorry, Sayori. I'm sorry. I feel really bad. Stop! Fuck. Natsuki, Yuri! You guys are my friends! And I just want everyone to get along and be happy! My friends are wonderful people! And I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems, they're amazing because they use so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pi pictures in your head. 
everyone's so talented. So why are we fighting? Be because! Huh? Also! Yeah, get him, Sayori. I love you now. You're awesome. Oh, we got a sound. Panzer's all! Welcome to the pupper pile! Let me get them to go some treaters. Thank you so much for tuning in and follows. You want, you want a cookie? Take that you for the follow. Delicious, delicious. Nom, 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 nom. Just for the voice acting effort? Oh, I'm glad someone appreciates it. Sarah. <laughs> oh, it, it's quite terrible, but uh, <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it. <laughs> I'm a horrible voice actor. Just forewarning. I hope you don't expect too much. But I, I feel it gives a little bit of body and goofiness to the stream. <laughs> but uh, it's I I'm glad you enjoy it to the point uh, <laughs> of a follow. It really does mean a lot. Uh, did I read this one? Natsuki, Natsuki's cute, and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were. Big and beautiful. <laughs> oh goodness. Sayori, Sayori signs up triumphantly. Fuck yeah! Oh! Oh, look at her fucking strength coming out. Oh, yeah, get it, girl. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. I'll, I'll make some tea. You're, wow, she actually rushed off the screen instead of fading out. Natsuki sits back down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So, this is why Sayori is vice president. I whisper to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader, and I can organize things, but I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing to me. Haha. <laughs> nah. It's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Yeah, I was kind of taken aback. Well, I guess that just means Sayori is amazing in her own ways, isn't it? You can say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's really suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. Not when you're Who that? Hold on. You're with the bad mo bitties! You want some bitties? You want some bitties? You want some bitties? Take your food to five bitties! Ouch! Don't need to chomp my fingers, hippo. Thank you for the bits, my dude. I greatly appreciate it. If you're taking suggestions, you might think about putting cameras in the bottom corners, like just seeing the three. Yeah, I thought about that earlier. Because sometimes when they're off in the sides, they're getting cut off. So I'll probably do that after stream. Cool. Because this is my this is generally my uh my default setup. And I didn't want to mess with it off stream, so or on stream, so after stream I'll just duplicate the scene so I can move it. Because uh yeah, you're right. I was I was seeing I was cutting off some stuff. But yeah, I'll be fixing those. Treats for spooks! Crimson! Bring them in our treaties! Say thank you for those treaties! Delicious treaties. Num, 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 num. What time is it? It's 9 o'clock. Actually, you know what? I'm trying to decide how much. Well, like if I put it down in the corners. Actually, no, the camera sizes are perfect, huh? I'm gonna do that real quick. Do you mind, guys mind? You're not the first person to bring that up, so let's, uh... Because I can fix him at another time. Uh... Move those together. And then we'll move... This. Uh... That means we have to move... That means we have to move the... Where are we going to move the doggo cam? Do we have at it? Sweet. Result in eye resting time. No problem, man. Uh, where's the doggo cam? All right, doggo cam. I can put, um... We'll do this. We'll move me 
to the bottom right. Oh, uh, it's not. And then I'll move the doggos to the top right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It has to move over exactly 15 pixels. I apologize. This is just how my brain works. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That one already had two pixels a buffer on the top. All right. That's going to cut off someone's head. Where's the doggo cam going to go? Ah, crap. I have to move that stupid thing. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna, I'll just hide that for now. Nah. Go away. Go away. Go away. Oh, OBS is freezing up. You bought le well, if I do the bottom left, then Kappa or the uh, bird is going to be in the way. That's a problem. I can scooch the doggo cam by bird. I think that's acceptable. We can do that. Hold on a minute. Do do do. We'll do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and we'll just. Eh. That's good enough. I think. Oh, I hate it. It's not a line, and it drives me insane. Oh, oh, you know what? We can put. We'll just put. Um, we'll put bird on top of the doggo cam. That'll work. He'll just. He'll just be a dog hat every now and then. Come on, OBS. I think I need to make a new scene. Or profile because this profile is stupid slow to move things. Oh, doggo can't move all the way over there. Alright, so we're gonna do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, twelve, fifteen. And then we'll move bird. There you go. There. That's acceptable, yeah? Good enough? Good enough. Alright, OBS, let me move you, please. It's not letting me move it. good to know Birch is still alive okay that was something I wanted to check too hey you're good you're good and uh, then we'll just keep it as we're playing the game because this should be done today according to the interwebs uh, okay uh, she's talking about uh, Sayori I would hate to see her get herself hurt shit uh, I clicked a button there we go. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to knock. Such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. Is she gonna give me another tip? Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing your poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright! Well, mostly! Big Papa, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome! In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. Oh crap, I have to come her up with another poem? Maybe you learned something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. Do I actually have to write another poem? I think to myself, I did learn a bit more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. Oh, yep, I'm gonna have to write another one. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Big Papa! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. 